Many fish keepers love a freshwater community aquarium full of different types of fish, but how do you choose compatible fish species? Choosing fish for your freshwater aquarium that won't fight or hurt each other is very important for a thriving community tank. Picking some community fish for your freshwater aquarium can initially seem challenging. With so many options, it's hard to know where to start. That's why I put together this list of the best community fish to make your life easier. But first, let's learn what community fish are. Good community fish can live peacefully with other types of fish. They are not aggressive or dangerous to their tank mates. The ideal community tank fish species are peaceful by nature, compatible with other species, interesting and attractive to observe, and are hardy and adaptable. Now you know what exactly are community fish and how to match them. It's time to get to know some of the best fish species for your freshwater aquarium. So let's dive into the video. First up, let's learn about Cori catfish. A Cori is a type of catfish. They are little, gentle scavengers who live at the bottom of the ocean. Like other catfish, Cori's are scavengers and bottom feeders. This means they may help keep your tank clean by finding and consuming uneaten food and other waste. There are more than 160 known species of these beautiful aquarium fish. Although Corridora's catfish spend most of their time on the bottom, these funny little fish are really active and curious in tank. Corridora's catfish should be kept in group of six or more to see them at their most playful and comfortable behavior. At second, now let's learn about Rasporas. Rasporas are beautiful schooling fish that can add some great color to your aquarium. The hobby has many different raspora species, ranging from tiny fish like the chili raspora to the much larger scissor tail species. These Asian schooling fish tend to be very peaceful and make excellent peaceful community fish. Rasporas are some of the smallest fish in the hobby, so they are an excellent choice for nano fish community setups. After rasporas, now let's learn about guppies. Guppies, commonly known as the rainbow fish, are a popular freshwater aquarium species and one of the world's most extensively distributed tropical fish. Guppies are the perfect community species for tropical aquariums with a water pH of over 7. These popular fish come in a wide range of different colors and often have big flowing fins. Guppies are excellent beginner fish because they are adaptable and easy to care for. They are lie bearers, so if you keep males and females together, you can expect to see loads of tiny fry in your tank. After guppies, let's move to our next fish, which are platies. Like guppies, platyfish are peaceful lie bearers available in some excellent breeds. They will make an ideal small community fish for your freshwater aquarium and have the added benefit of helping with algae control. After platies, now let's move to our next fish, which is molly fish. Molly fish are excellent peaceful aquarium fish for fish keepers with naturally hard water. Like other lie bearers, these fish breed freely in the aquarium. These larger lie bearers are available in many different colors and fin shapes. Sandy substrate is recommended just so you can keep vegetation in your tank. To keep them happy, give these little fish with big personalities with things to do like tall plants to hide between. Satisfy their natural curiosity with artificial caves and rocks to explore. After molly fish, now let's talk about sword tails. Sword tails are another highly popular lie bearer available in various colors and breeds. What sets sword tails apart is their distinctive long tail fins. They are excellent community fish for beginners and will do best if kept in a group of one male and a few females. Now, let's move to our next fish, which is cherry barbs. Cherry barbs are beautiful and peaceful aquarium fish from the goldfish family. These active and colorful fish add rich orange-red color to your aquarium. Cherry barbs are active and peaceful schooling fish. The species thrives in groups of six or more. The fish's hardy nature makes it popular among beginner and experienced fish keepers. After cherry barbs, now let's learn about dwarf karamis. A pair of dwarf karamis make an excellent addition to a peaceful community aquarium. These graceful labyrinth fish are both beautiful and peaceful. Dwarf karamis are available in many different breeds, such as the flame, neon blue dwarf, and honey garamis. The next fish on this list is zebra danio. 
Zebra danios are active fish that love darting around the aquarium. These peaceful freshwater community fish can thrive in relatively low water temperatures, making them an excellent choice for unheated aquariums. These hardy fish are available in longfinned, golden, and glowfish varieties. After zebra danio, now let's talk about celestial pearl dania. These colorful little danio fish are also known as the galaxy raspora. They are an excellent choice for planted nano community tanks. Celestial pearl danios are very peaceful creatures, although males may display and spar with each other. These shy little fish will do best if kept with other peaceful nano fish. The next fish on this list is bristle nose placow. The bristle nose placow is a very strange and interesting looking suckerfish. These bottom dwelling catfish are peaceful towards their tank mates but should not be kept in groups with their species. Bristle nose placows love grazing on driftwood, and they are accommodating in cleaning some kinds of soft algae. After bristle nose placow, now let's talk more about neon tetras, one of the best fish in the freshwater hobby. The neon tetra is a slender fish that is very popular with aquarium owners. It grows to a length of 4 cm, its hind parts are colored a gleaming red, and its sides have a neon-like blue-green stripe. Neon tetras are stunning fish. These South American beauties are one of the most popular community species because of their fantastic color and easy care. Cardinal tetras are the next fish on our list. The cardinal tetra is similar to the neon tetra but is even more colorful. The main difference between the two species of tetras is the red stripe on the cardinal tetra, which extends the whole length of the fish's body. Cardinals are also slightly larger than neons, but they're still tiny fish just over an inch long. After cardinal tetras, now let's discuss about Congo tetras. The Congo tetra is one of the most beautiful tetras in the hobby. Congo tetras are native to Africa, unlike most other species in South America. They are very peaceful, but can be pretty shy if kept with more extensive or active fish. The Congo tetra generally congregates in areas with tall vegetation, few trees and substrates made up of sand, silt and mud. Black skirt tetra is the next fish on this list, so let's learn more about this fish. The black skirt or black widow tetra is a cool schooling tetra for community tanks. They might not be the most colorful tetras, but their bold black markings, curios fin and body shape make up for that. These interesting-looking fish are very peaceful if kept in schools of at least six fish or so. Now, let's learn about Otisinclus. These little sucker fish feed on algae, which helps to keep the glass, plants, and other surfaces clean in your tank. It's fascinating to watch them feed as they stick to the glass, but they will swim around in the midwater of the tank if kept in a school of at least six fish. Odos are great fish for the planted aquarium but should not be added to tanks that do not produce algae. After Otisinclus, now let's know about ram cichlids. If you thought all cichlids were big and meant, think again. Rams are small, shy fish that can be kept in community tanks with suitable tank mates. It is best to keep just a pair of these stunning cichlids unless you have a tank of 40 gallons or more. Ram cichlids are tropical fish that need high water temperatures, so make sure their tank mates are compatible. After ram cichlids, now let's talk about glass catfish. The glass catfish is perfect for fish keepers who want something more unusual in their tank. These Asian catfish are translucent, and you can see practically every bone in their bodies. They are very calm fish that prefer to school together, so keep at least five of them in the same tank. Initially, these fish are from Southeast Asia. They can be homed in vegetated tanks full of peaceful fish like tetras. This setting reflects their natural habitat and creates a calm environment that mirrors their calm nature. After glass catfish, now let's learn about dojo loaches. Dojo loaches are an excellent addition to a larger peaceful community tank. They are also known as weather loaches because they seem to know when the weather will change. These eel-like bottom feeders are very hardy and make an excellent choice for unheated aquariums. Finally, there are two beautiful fish in the last position, glowfish tetras and danios. So, let's learn more about these fish. Glowfish are a collection of several genetically modified fish species that just burst with color. 
Try keeping these fish in a tank with blue LED lighting for a fantastic display. Not all glowfish species are peaceful aquarium fish, but the glowfish tetras and zebra danios are perfect. Because the glowfish barbs and sharks are more aggressive, you should tread cautiously when introducing them to a community tank. Setting up your first freshwater community tank is an excellent experience we fish keepers never forget. Choosing the right fish for your freshwater aquarium can be a little daunting at first, but if you choose from this list, you'll have nothing to worry about. Just remember to take your time, do your research, and have fun. Do you have your aquarium with community fish? Let us know about your favorite community species in the comments below. So I hope this video helped you a lot, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you guys to thrive in the aquarium hobby. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to add freshwater fish to your 10-gallon tank, you can watch the video popping on your screen.